Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict 2 of 2018 transferring and appointing directors in the Ministry of Labor and Social Development Ahmed Jafar Al Haiki was transferred from his position as Director of Labor Relations to Director of Inspection and Vocational Safety Sahar Rashid Al Mannai was appointed as Director of Social Assistance and May Hassan Al Asmi was appointed as Director of Labor Relations the Minister of Labor and Social Development is to implement the edict which is to become effective on the day of its issuance and issued in the official Gazette. The Supreme Council for Women chaired the Supreme Council for Women, chaired by the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the STW, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, has congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the 17th anniversary of the National Action Charter. Her Royal Highness expressed pride in the development Bahraini Women, which derives its essence from the principles of the National Action Charter. The STW expressed pleasure for being one of the prominent indicators of the National Action Charter's principles. During the meeting, Her Royal Highness announced that Bahraini Women's Day will be dedicated this year to the celebration of women in the field of legislation and municipal work. The choice of this field coincides with the passing of nearly 20 years since Bahraini women entered the Shura Council and 15 years since they entered the Representatives Council until, uh, or until the year 2001, which is considered the starting point for Bahraini women to enjoy their full political rights through the provisions of the National Action Charter and the Constitution of the Kingdom of Bahrain for the year 2002. Her Royal Highness highlighted the great achievements made by Bahraini women through their presence in the legislative and municipal councils and their ability to raise their contributions in public affairs and enter the political field. She also noted that the celebration of Bahraini women in the legislative field and municipal work this year coincides with the municipal and parliamentary elections expected to be held in the kingdom later this year. Her Royal Highness pointed out that this is the best occasion to shed light on the political maturity and awareness of Bahraini society. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Halal Ansari, said that the Council, in its efforts to implement the National Plan for the Advancement of Bahraini Women and the integration of its programs in national development in cooperation with all governmental, private and civil society sectors, has completed 70%, 77% of the needs of Bahraini women in the development process. Al Ansari reiterated the Kingdom's commitment to submit Bahrain's fourth national report to the United Nations Committee in regard to the Convention's implementation that is considered concerned with the elimination of all forms of discrimination against women. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the National Guard Commander, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in Riyadh to attend the inauguration of the 32nd Janadriya National Heritage and Cultural Festival. Sheikh Mohammed was received at the King Khalid International Airport by the Governor of Riyadh, Prince Faisal bin Bandar bin Abdulaziz, and the Bahraini Ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. As part of counter-terrorism operations and to maintain national security, the Ministry of Interior announced the arrest of a terrorist group following the terrorist 14th of February coalition, which plotted and blasted, and blasted an oil pipeline near the Buri village on the 10th of November 2017. <laughs> قامت بالتخطيط والإعداد وتفجير أحد أنابيب النفط بالقرب من قرية بوري بتاريخ العاشر من شهر نوفمبر لعام 2017 والذي يعد من الأعمال الإرهابية الخطيرة التي استهدفت الإضرار بالمصالح العليا للوطن وسلامة الناس حيث كاد الأمر أن يتحول إلى كارثة لولا عناية الله ثم التعاون والتنسيق بين الأجهزة المعنية في وزارة الداخلية ووزارة النفط والتي أسفرت عن السيطرة على الحريق في وقت قياسي وتأمين وحماية القاطنين في المنطقة وتفعيل خطط الإخلاء وإيواء السكان في مراكز تم تخصيصها مسبقا لهذا الغرض وفور وقوع الحادث الإرهابي هرعت إلى الموقع فرق الدفاع المدني وفرق إبطال المتفجرات لتأمين المنطقة والقيام بأعمال المكافحة والإطفاء واتخاذ اللازم لحماية الأرواح والممتلكات 
كما انتقلت إلى الموقع طواقم مسرح الجريمة والمختبر الجنائي والجهات المختصة الأخرى لإجراء المعاينة ورفع الأدلة المادية ومن ثم تشكيل مجموعات من فرق البحث والتحري التي قامت بدراسة كل المعطيات والبيانات التي تم جمعها وتتبع خيوط الجريمة حيث أسفرت أعمال البحث والتحري عن تحديد هوية العناصر الإرهابية المتورطة في ارتكاب هذا العمل الإرهابي والقبض على أربعة منهم وهم المدعو فاضل محمد جعفر علي 23 عاما سائق المدعو أنور عبد العزيز موسى جعفر المشيمع 24 عاما موظف قطاع خاص المدعو محمد عبد الله عيسى عبد الله محروس 27 عاما موظف في إحدى الشركات المدعو عادل أحمد علي أحمد صالح 23 عاما موظف أمن في شركة خاصة وكشفت التحريات أن أثنين من المقبوض عليهم تلقوا تدريبات أمنية مكثفة في معسكرات الحرس الثوري الإيراني بالتنسيق مع قيادات إرهابية هاربة وموجودة في إيران حيث يتم تجنيد العناصر الأرهابية بالداخل وتمويل عمليات سفرهم إلى إيران تحت غطاء الزيارات الدينية وشملت التدريبات كيفية تصنيع واستخدام العبوات المتفجرة واستخدام أسلحة كلاشينكوف والرشاش بي كي سي وآر بي جي بجانب دورات أمنية خاصة بالأمن الشخصي حيث يتم تكليفهم من كل تلك العناصر لتنفيذ اعتداءات تستهدف الإضرار بالاقتصاد الوطني لمملكة البحرين واستهداف أنبوب النفط حيث شرعوا فور عودتهم من إيران بالتخطيط والإعداد وتفجير أنبوب النفط في بوري بالإضافة إلى الإعداد والتنفيذ لسلسلة من الأعمال الإرهابية حيث قاموا بمعاينة موقع أنبوب النفط ومن ثم تفجيره عن بعد ما تسبب في اشتعال الحريق والذي أدى إلى تضرر المصالح الوطنية العليا ومصالح الناس وترويع الآمنين وأحداث خسائر مادية في منازلهم وممتلكاتهم تم حصرها لاحقا وتقديم التعويضات اللازمة بشأنها وفي سياق المتصل تتواصل أعمال البحث والتحري للقبض على عدد من العناصر الإرهابية التي شاركت في التمويل والتخطيط لتنفيذ هذا العمل الإرهابي وهم حبيب عبد اللطيف مهدي 19 عاما هارب ومحكوم بالسجن المؤبد عبد الله جعفر أحمد المدني 34 عاما هارب وموجود في إيران محمد علي إبراهيم خليل 35 عاما هارب وموجود في إيران ودلت التحريات على توفر أدلة مادية ورقمية تثبت تورط هذه العناصر الإرهابية في التمويل والتخطيط والإعداد لتنفيذ أعمال إرهابية في عدد من المناطق تم ولله الحمد إحباطها من خلال القبض عليهم وسوف تكشف تحقيقات النيابة العامة في حينه مزيدا من التفاصيل في هذا الشأن The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, asserted that the efforts adopted by Doha aimed at the internalization or internationalization of the two holy mosques is evidence of the fall of the conspiracies of the Qatari regime to strike the stability of the region. In a series of tweets, Sheikh Khalid added that whenever a plan or a conspiracy by the Qatari regime fails, they return to the story of the internationalization of the two holy mosques. He also stressed that the Doha regime and its media rhetoric about the interna internationalization of the two holy mosques reveal the bad intentions, the political bankruptcy, and the moral fall of the regime. Sheikh Khalid noted that there is no a religious center for any religion that pilgrims go to without being supervised by a sovereign state, and Saudi Arabia is an example of honesty and commitment, care and protection. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, inaugurated yesterday evening the Solar Utilities Network form the or sun at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. The forum, which was organized by Hilal Conferences and Exhibitions, was attended by a number of ambassadors, senior officials, and guests from various governments and private sectors. It was held on the sidelines of the Gulf Industry Fair, which was inaugurated today by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. It created an exchange of knowledge on solar and renewable technology, while focusing on the challenges and opportunities of solar, including 
PV storage, solar power generation policies of the government, energy storage and workforce skilling. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs delivered a speech in which he highlighted the support to sustainable development in the kingdom, evident in the steps it has taken in this regard, including the establishment of a sustainable energy unit in cooperation with the United Nations Development Program, the UNDP, which is concerned with promoting investment in renewable energies such as solar energy. He also addressed the National Energy Efficiency Plan, the NEEAP, and the National Renewable Energy Plan, the NREAP, and the committee formed to implement them. Dr. Mirza thanked the organizers of the event. He did, headed by the chairman of the board of directors of Hilal Conferences and Exhibitions, Anwar Mohammed Abdul Rahman, as well as the forum sponsors and participants. In accordance with the Gulf Industry Fair 2018, the Solar Utilities Network event was held today and featured a keynote speech from the Minister of Electricity and Water, Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza. Because the subject of solar energy has become the subject of the day now, and all the GCC countries, including Bahrain, have established national targets for renewable energy. Well, I think that this forum is a very scientific, very important, and that no doubt that the progressive nations will be able to achieve this new uh, energy. Solar power in the Gulf is becoming a viable option for energy diversification strategies. The SUN initiative will contribute to the growing awareness of how solar power will affect both industry and society and the commercial opportunities for both users and suppliers. So solar energy is a uh, renewable resource and it is something that is available uh, pretty much anywhere in the world. Uh, the fact that it's renewable means that we can uh, reduce greenhouse gases uh, from natural uh, gas emissions uh, used for the uh, conventional fossil fuel power station. The timing is everything in, uh, in, announce in announcements. And as you heard from the minister, the Bahrain solar strategy and net metering policy is now matured. And he made a beautiful announcement today to say that now domestic uh, users of solar power can actually sell uh, the surplus electricity back to the grid. So I think the time is that, that Bahrain is a market for solar energy, both as a supplier and as a net or uh, a country, is actually at the right time. The launch of the Solar Utilities Network promotes renewable energy as well as commercial opportunities that will enrich the kingdom's industrial development. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Mohammed. The Housing Minister, Bassem bin Yaqub al Hamar, affirmed uh, following the directives of the Coordinating Committee chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, to strengthen partnership with the private sector to expedite the provision of housing units for the citizens and to be committed to the principles of sustainability competitiveness and fairness in delivering long-term services. The minister met with a number of real estate development companies to discuss increasing the number of housing projects implemented by the private sector in the kingdom to cope with the progress made in the ministry's application of the social housing scheme, Mazaya. The minister stated that Mazaya has reinforced the ministry's communication with the private sector to discuss the available options to increase the number of units offered by real estate development companies, including the provision of facilities and fast-tracking procedures to ensure the sustainability of the scheme. In cooperation with Iskan Bank, the ministry is conducting studies to reduce the minimum number of candidates to benefit from the program. The real estate developer, developers welcome the government's desire to strengthen partnerships with the private sector, stressing that the private sector should play its role in supporting and providing housing projects. The Representatives Council held today its weekly session shared by First Deputy Speaker Mr. Ali Al-Aradi. The Council addressed the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment on a number of cases filed before the civil, criminal or legislative courts during the past four years and about the properties managed by both the Sunni and Jafari Endowment Councils. 
The council also asked the Minister of Health about the number of sickle cell disease patients in Bahrain and the inauguration of the Bank of Bahrain and Kuwait Health Center in Hid. The council then meanwhile discussed the final report of the Parliamentary Inquiry Committee on the unsponsored labor, the problems resulting from it and the reasons that led to it. The council approved the, provision, uh, the proposals and recommendations of the committee and transferred them to the government. The council also reviewed two requests. The first was the issuance of a statement praising the Saudi sponsorship of the two holy mosques and denouncing Qatar's call for the internationalization of them. The second was issuing a statement on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of the establishment of the Bahrain Defense Force. The southern governor, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, patronized the governor's uh, third mass wedding in the presence of the Sunni Endowment's chairman, Sheikh Rashid Al Hajri, at uh, Sheikh Khan Al Farsi Hall. Sheikh Khalifa affirmed the government's keenness on supporting charity events, noting the importance of youth in creating a national future and the necessity to meet their desires and eliminate the challenges they will face in the future. The southern governor congratulated the youth, soon to be married, wishing them a happy married life. He noted the cohesion and solidarity the mass wedding represents. He also hailed the efforts of the Sunni Waqf Endowment Directorate in organizing the ceremony, affirming the importance of charity work in strengthening family bonds and emphasizing community responsibility. The Sunni Endowment Chairman expressed thanks and appreciation to the Southern uh, Governor for patronizing the ceremony, commending the role and efforts of the Southern Government in connection with all age groups in the society to provide the best charity initiatives. A very good evening. You're watching the business news in Bahrain International with me, Heba Abdul Ghaffar. Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,336.38 points, marking a decrease of 2.14 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the commercial bank sector, where investors mainly traded, representing 89% of the total value of traded shares. Results indicated that 72 equity transactions took place, with a volume of 7,662,332 shares, worth 2,829,720. 26 Bahraini dinars. The Central Bank of Bahrain announced that the monthly issue of the short-term Islamic leasing bonds, Sukuk al-Idara, has been fully subscribed by 100%. Subscriptions worth 26 million Bahraini dinars were received for the issue, which carries a maturity of 182 days. The expected return on the issue is 3.27%, compared to 3.15% for the previous issue. This is the issue number 150 of the short-term Sukuk al-Idara series.